IBM Systems Director provides systems management personnel with a single point of control, helping reduce IT management complexity and cost. Using built-in capabilities as well as the VM Control plugin, IBM Systems Director simplifies the management of virtual environments across multiple virtualization technologies and hardware platforms. Using IBM Systems Director, full integration with VMware vCenter can be achieved. From the Systems Director console, you can create, edit, and delete virtual servers managed by vCenter. You can also create an event automation plan that will automatically send a relocation task to the vCenter server. Since IBM Hardware Health is continuously monitored by Systems Director, virtual servers can be relocated away from a host that has experienced a hardware problem. This includes automatic relocation of all virtual servers away from a host that has generated a predictive failure alert, or PFA. Since this occurs before the host has actually failed, all virtual servers continue to run without interruption, providing high availability of associated applications and services. This brief demonstration shows such an event automation plan in action. We will watch as IBM Systems Director responds to a PFA from a host by issuing a series of commands to VMware vCenter, causing virtual servers currently running on the impacted host to be relocated to another host. In addition, the failing host will be placed into maintenance mode in order to ensure that virtual servers are not started on nor relocated to that host until the underlying problem can be resolved. We will switch between the IBM Systems Director Console and the VMware vCenter client, witnessing the process from both sides in real time. As soon as the PFA is received by Systems Director, the event automation plan is executed and virtual servers begin relocating away from the impacted host. Here we see the state column change to indicate relocation of the virtual servers as well as indicators appearing in the problem column related to the PFA itself and virtual server relocation. As each of the four virtual servers is relocated, we see them move from host ESX01 to host ESX02 in the Systems Director console. First virtual server Clearwater moves, then Columbia is migrated. Now that the first two virtual servers have been relocated, we switch to the VMware vCenter client to show these same initial stages of the process. In the vCenter client, we see both hosts and all eight virtual servers in the top portion of the display. At the bottom of the screen, in the Recent Tasks area, we will see the tasks issued by Systems Director show up and be queued for execution. Two relocation tasks execute immediately. We watch as they progress and complete. Then the final two relocation tasks are launched and the remaining migrations begin. We now switch back to the Systems Director console to watch the rest of the progress. Nisqually and Paradise are relocated from host ESX01 to host ESX02. Moving back to the vCenter client, we see the last two virtual servers migrate from the VMware perspective. Once all relocation tasks have completed, the final critical task, which was the first task to begin executing, is resumed. The host ESX01 is placed into maintenance mode and its icon now shows the maintenance mode indicator. Placing a host into maintenance mode prevents vCenter from starting any virtual servers on this host. It also prevents the VMware Dynamic Resource Scheduler, or DRS, from moving any virtual servers to host ESX01 in order to balance the load between hosts. This ensures that virtual servers are not placed in harm's way until after the failing component can be replaced. Back in the Systems Director console, we drill into the problem indicated for host ESX01. We see three alerts, one that shows the host has been placed into maintenance mode, one that indicates virtual server relocation, and a warning alert from the PFA event that started the whole process. Drilling into the warning alert shows the detail we expect to see. The message tells us that a predictive failure event has been detected on the host and that system failure may be imminent. Now let's assume that the failing component has been replaced. We can remove the host from maintenance mode straight from the system's director console. To do this, we drill into the host and select the exit maintenance mode function. 
This creates a job that Systems Director will send to our vCenter server to remove the host from maintenance mode. Since we want the job to execute immediately, we leave the Run Now option selected and click OK. We then close the message confirming the job has been started and switch again to the vCenter client to watch the task execute. At the top of the Recent Tasks area, we see the Exit Maintenance Mode task show up and execute immediately. Notice that the icon for host ESX01 no longer shows the Maintenance Mode indicator. At this point, virtual servers can be returned to their normal hosts. If VMware DRS is enabled, we can simply allow vCenter to perform its normal load balancing function to distribute virtual servers across available hosts. If DRS is not enabled, we can use Systems Director to quickly relocate virtual servers back where they belong. To do this, we open the Task Navigation pane on the left side of the Systems Director console and expand the Availability tasks. Selecting the Relocation Plans for Farms item opens a tab that displays any relocation jobs that we have previously saved. Here it's a simple matter of clicking on each appropriate job and running it to relocate each virtual server back to its original host. Since each relocation job was validated when we created and saved it, we do not see the validation wizard now. This simplifies and speeds the process to return all virtual servers back to their original host. Closing the Relocation tab allows us to watch the final virtual server complete its relocation. Our host has been repaired and our virtual environment is back to its normal operating condition. As we have seen in this brief demonstration, IBM Systems Director provides significant value add in a VMware virtualized environment. You can create an event automation plan that will automatically send a relocation task to the vCenter server. Since Systems Director receives PFA events from IBM hardware, virtual servers can be relocated away from an impacted host before the host has actually failed. This means that all virtual servers continue to run without interruption, providing high availability of associated applications and services. For more information, go to IBM's website and search for Systems Director.